Hey friends, welcome back to the channel or welcome if you're new. My name is Kayla and today I'm going to be sharing with you guys 15 last minute Christmas gift ideas for the fashion lovers in your life. Hello friends, welcome back to the channel. Christmas is just around the corner and if you're still not sure what to get for the fashionable person in your life, I've got some last minute ideas for you. All 15 of these ideas are gifts you should be able to go out to a store and physically pick up since it's probably a little too late in the game to order online. Unless you have Amazon Prime, you might be able to, but you might also be cutting it a little bit close. So I wanted to make sure all of the things that I was sharing with you guys were things you could literally physically go to a store and pick up and bring home with you. I would genuinely be so happy with every single thing that I put on the list. But before we jump into the video, don't forget to pause and go down below and hit that subscribe button. It's totally free and I'll let you know as I upload new videos, which is every single Wednesday. I upload fashion related content every single week. Everything from thrifting to aesthetic exploration to styling to things like this. Now, without further ado, let's jump right on in. Okay, so starting with the most generic of the gifts, of course, a good old fashioned gift card. Now, I know some people have like qualms about buying and giving gift cards, but I'm here to tell you right now, a gift card is a great gift. If you're not 100% sure what somebody might want, get them a gift card. Then you don't have to worry about them liking what they get because they get to pick it out themselves. Gift cards are great gifts. They really, really, truly are. It might not be like a physical item, but they are great gifts. People love gift cards. Have you ever had somebody complain to you about a gift card? I have not. <laughs> now, if you have the thrifty kind of person in your life, then some suggestions would be Goodwill gift cards or maybe even savers. If you have any sort of local thrifts around and about where that person lives, that might also be a great idea. And you're also helping to support smaller local businesses. For the more like trendy, likes to go to the like trendier stores kinds of people, you can go to somewhere like an Abercrombie, Urban Outfitters, Airy, Madewell. And then if you have maybe somebody in your life who likes a bit more upscale, but they're not opposed to secondhand, a couple of other ideas could be a gift card, an e-gift card from The Real Real. The Real Real is a luxury reselling website. So it works the same way that Poshmark does, except for that they have a, I think it's called a white glove service. And people come and they verify that the items are genuine designer products and then they are put up for resale so you can get them a gift card from the real real and then thread up also has some designer pieces as well so you can get them a thread up gift card if you wanted to as well number two is unique jewelry now i myself make my own jewelry so if i ever am in a pinch jewelry is a great option for me of course you'll need to know if your friend or family member has pierced ears if you want to do earrings but of course there's other types of jewelry you can make bracelets you can make necklaces you can make rings if you know how to do that um or you can go to a craft fair and again, support some local artists. This time of year, there are craft fairs basically everywhere. They're probably wrapping up in the next couple of days. So maybe head online and see if you can find where some might be located around you and take a gander. See if you find any maybe unique polymer clay earrings or maybe some fun beaded necklaces. Some places even have like actual like gold necklaces and actual silver types of jewelry pieces. So definitely check out craft fairs if there's any near you. And then again, of course, you can always make some. I really love doing this. You can do polymer clay. And then also if you're maybe not so much into the polymer clay stuff or maybe you don't think your friend would be into polymer clay, another really simple idea would be metal stamped jewelry. And you can get all of the supplies for all of this at a Joanne craft store or a Michaels. I'll also leave some links down below to some helpful tutorials on how to make jewelry out of polymer clay. When I first started out my Etsy shop, I found it really helpful to learn from others who had been doing it for a really long time. So I'll leave some of the channels I'm subscribed to down below. Number three, this one I think is gonna be a little controversial, leg warmers. Leg warmers are on trend for this season and they are predicted to stick around for the next little bit here, but maybe if your friend or family member are not into leg warmers, a good statement sock is always a great option. Listen, I know there's like the whole joke about getting socks for Christmas. Again, I would never complain about getting socks. As a fashion girly, if you get me cute socks, I will be happy. Actually, my older brother got me these really lovely, like warm, thick wool socks for Christmas last year. 
they're still one of my favorite pairs of socks that I own. And he told me the other day where he got them and I do in fact plan on getting some more because that's how much I love them. But even if you're not getting just thick wooly socks, you can always just get a nice pair of socks with a lettuce leaf hem or some ruffles on them, which are so great for styling. People often neglect fashionable socks in their outfits. And I just feel like sometimes a sock can make a look. It really and truly can. Seems like a very small detail, but it can really make an entire outfit. And leg warmers are just so fun. You can find them in craft fairs as well. If you're hanging out at a craft fair, you can make them yourself. They're really just like knitted tubes. So if you know how to knit, you might be able to knit them in time. Number four, books on fashion movements and aesthetics. Now this one might be a little bit more difficult to find if you're hanging out in secondhand bookstores, but you should be pretty readily able to find some in physical, like bigger, bookstores like Barnes and Nobles or Books A Million, things like that. But it's definitely not, I wouldn't count out the secondhand bookstores. Sometimes you find the best in there. I have an entire book on Twee fashion and that I actually got on thriftbooks.com. Now it is too late to probably order from there unless you're meeting after Christmas with some friends maybe, which is something I'm doing. Then you definitely still have time. Um, then you can order from like thrift books or something. I wrote down three suggestions for you guys for specific books that a fashion lover in your life might like. So the first one is The Little Dictionary of Fashion. I think this one is written by Christian Dior. Then there's The End of Fashion, which is a book talking about the mass marketing of fashion, which might be interesting for somebody who's interested in the ethics of fashion or somebody who's interested in maybe high-end fashion design and things like that. And then the other one is Iris Apfel, An Accidental Icon, which is a memoir of this woman named Iris, who I'm not gonna lie, I don't know who she is, but it was on a list <laughs> of books that I found online. I'll leave that list down below. It was a list of books that they deemed essential for completing your fashion education. So there's a ton more fashion books that you can get as well. I'll leave some down below. I remember when I was in high school, I won my school science fair and I got a Barnes and Nobles gift card for it. And I'm sure they wanted me to buy something academic, but I did in fact buy the Hello Style Guide to Style <laughs> and the Bobby Brown Makeup Manual. And um, I, really loved those books and so those are also books i'm gonna recommend okay number five berets and aesthetic little hair clips and statement hair accessories berets are so on trend they're just a classic item as well i don't feel like they really ever go out i am dying for like a white beret in my collection but i do have quite a few different ones and then also just fun hair accessories big puffy headbands and funky clips and recently i saw little like clips that have dangling beads coming off of them and i think they're gorgeous you can get sort of bedazzled hair clips or maybe hairpins with florals or mushrooms or some sort of fun thing on them. And honestly, would love it. Target has a great selection of hair accessories. Even Walmart has a great selection of hair accessories. I always feel like they get overlooked, but some of my favorite hair accessories are from Walmart. So these are all great places you can find these things. I don't think Walmart has any berets at the moment, at least mine doesn't, but I know Target does. So if you're looking for a beret, Target's a great place. Number six, Ugg style boots. Uggs are in style. Now, if you're looking to spend Ugg money on a gift, you can get a pair of hugs. You can get those in a lot of different stores. Dick's Sporting Goods sells them. The Shoe Depot sells them. DSW, I'm sure, probably sells them. And you can get them elsewhere too. There are definitely physical stores that do sell Uggs. Or you can get an Ugg style shoe. Places that sell those. <laughs> Tractor Supply, which is so random, but oh my gosh. Tractor Supply has some bomb stuff. I'm about to start buying more clothes there. Like they have some freaking cute things there. You also have Walmart and Target and places like H&M or Old Navy has like a version of sort of Ugg style boots. Lots and lots of places to find boots like that. Because they're on trend, they're very, very accessible. Number seven is ethical or faux leather gloves, or you can go for like the really fuzzy sort of like teddy textured gloves. I feel like gloves are firstly a very utilitarian gift. They're practical, but then you can make practical fashionable by getting really beautiful ones. I got some like fuzzy teddy texture ones at Joanne Fabrics and they're so comfortable and so cozy. Again, leather gloves are a really nice way to sort of elevate just your standard winter glove or gloves with sort of fur around the ends of them are another great way to go. Number eight is a sewing pattern. If you have a sewer on your list, but you're not sure what to get them, 
think about sort of what they like to wear or maybe search their social media, see what kinds of things they're wearing. See if you can find a pattern for a piece of clothing that they might wanna make. I personally would love to get more patterns for Christmas. I would be so exciting to open up doors to new projects that I can try out. If you wanna level it up, you can do like a whole sewing gift kit kind of thing. So you can get the pattern and you can get some fabric and whatever other materials they might need. So like buttons or zippers or thread. And that would be such an incredible gift. I personally would love that. Of course, you can get fabric at Joann's or Michael's, or if you are a thrifty person, you can head to the thrift store and see if you can find some secondhand fabric. I personally would love that. It would be so amazing to get just like big bolts of fabric from the thrift store. And so if, yeah, if someone were to have given that to me for Christmas, I would have been so ecstatic. Okay, number nine, purses. So now there are two types of purses that I think are pretty safe to go with. Go for a really lovely baguette style bag. Now, of course you can have fun with this. You can go with just like a solid color or you can find one that's like furry. Those are really popular at the moment, sort of the fuzzy bags or ones that have fun patterns on them or you can go for a crossbody bag. I think a good leather crossbody bag is so wonderful to have. They're so versatile and you can use them for so many different things. Depending on what your budget is, it depends on where you wanna go, but you can head over to a Macy's if you wanted to get a more higher end version of that. They do sell Michael Kors and Anne Klein and things like that over at Macy's. So that would be a good option if you're looking for a sort of moderately affordable designer kind of style. And then of course you could run into like a Kate Spade if you have a Kate Spade store near you or a Coach store if you have one of those near you. Those are definitely gonna be on the higher price points, but if that's sort of what you're looking for, those are great options. And salespeople at those stores will definitely be able to help you pick out the right bag. Now, if you're looking for something on the lower end of the spectrum, I mean, not to sound like a broken record, but Target, Target, they just, they just, they just do it right. You know what I'm saying? Target, Walmart, Amazon, H&M might have some good stuff. Old Navy from time to time has some stuff. Then other stores could be like Francesca's or Anthropology, which Anthro might be a little bit like middling expensive. Aerie or Abercrombie might have some fun sort of trendy sort of bags you can find there. So those are some options. For the scarf lover in your life, consider getting a cashmere scarf or you can get an alpaca a wool scarf if you wanted to um yeah scarves are just a great accessory you really can't go wrong with a scarf i think a good classic plaid is probably my favorite version of a scarf so you can definitely go like high end with something like a burberry scarf or you can go lower end with something like an old navy scarf but either way if you get like just a nice material very soft very like luscious comfortable feeling scarf I think that would be such a lovely gift. Number 11 would be high quality sunglasses or watches. My favorite watch is personally from Kate Spade, but you can also get watches from places like Fossil or Michael Kors or like all of these other brands if you wanna go like fancy, fancy. If you're again looking for like a lower end present or like last year I asked for a cheap watch, one that I could wear when I was like going out and hiking and when I was doing more like manual labor outside in the garden and I wanted to have a watch on. So you can always get a lower end watch for somebody who is maybe very outdoorsy. And then sunglasses, I personally don't wear sunglasses. So I don't know a ton about like where you would wanna get nice sunglasses, but I do know Sunglasses Hut exists. I don't, again, know a ton about sunglasses brands cause can't see without my actual glasses. So I just don't wear sunglasses. But I, I can imagine if you have a sunglasses lover or a fashion lover in your circle and they don't already have like physical glasses that they have to wear sunglasses are such a great idea number 12 would be unique tights i get all of my tights at target and on amazon because they're my favorite quality but if you go for like a unique pair of tights either a fun color or a fun pattern or a fun texture i think that's so great tights are an incredible way to accessorize an outfit and lots of people in the fashion world utilize tights to add a little bit of texture with either lacy tights or maybe tights with like a bow up the back of it or tights that have a sort of knitted texture in various colors like i have some green tights some red tights some yellow tights you can get them a few pairs i think that would be such a lovely gift maybe if you wanted to like add a couple of things you can get some tights some socks leg warmers whatever and you have yourself a really fun moment going. Number 13, who doesn't love a cozy cardigan? Grab a cozy cardigan 
Kohl's is a great place to grab cozy cardigans. They sell Croft and Barrow brand, which if you're a thrifter, you know, Croft and Barrow is so high quality. I love everything I've ever gotten from them. And this year I actually bought my mom two Croft and Barrow cardigans from Kohl's and they're so soft and so like cozy feeling and I know she's gonna love them. So definitely a cozy cardigan. Okay, so number 14 does actually require you to know the person's clothing size, but a nice winter coat. Old Navy is my go-to for winter jackets and Target is my other go-to. I know I'm like mentioning very few brands, <laughs> but these are just the brands that I shop at. I thrift most of my clothes. So if you're looking for like a brand new item, then these are just some of the select brands that I shop from. But of course, if you shop at other brands, obviously you can check them out. But yeah, I mean, I personally really love the long sort of trench coat style. I think that's a great gift option. But then of course you can go for a jacket. Those are really on trend at the moment. You can go for a puffer coat if you wanted to. Kohl's has some great puffer coats as well. So a good winter coat is a great gift. They're expensive sometimes. And they're also one of those things that I think a lot of people sort of drag their feet at buying. So it's nice to not have to worry about buying it because someone else got it for you. And number 15 is a fashion subscription box. So there are tons of these things. You can also do like a Fabletics subscription. You can do a sort of mystery thrift box. You could do like a Stitch Fix subscription or one of those fashion rental subscriptions. And I think that would be so fun. Not only are you buying them like a gift, but it's kind of like buying them an experience as well. So definitely a great option if you're completely unsure what to get them, but you know that they really enjoy fashion. All right, guys, so those are all 15 ideas that I have for you. I hope you found them helpful. If you have other ideas, sound them off in the comments down below. Let's help each other out. But yeah, at the end of the day, just remember Jesus is the reason for the season. Don't put too much pressure on yourself. Just have a good time being in one another's presence. That said, I do still hope this video was helpful for you guys. I want to wish you all a very, very Merry Christmas. Again, don't forget to subscribe subscribe down below if you haven't already. It's totally free and I'll let you know is when I upload new videos, which is every single Wednesday. I upload fashion related content every single week. You can also follow me on social media for more updates on my life and fashion and book recommendations, movie and music recommendations as well. And I think that's really all I have for you guys. So don't forget, it costs absolutely nothing to be kind, so be kind to yourself and others. And I'll see you all next time. Bye.